Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Guys, thank you for joining me. Check it out, guys. As you can see, I got another product for you guys. I picked up the Lucky Man Club seat covers for my, my Super Doobie Trauma. Now, you guys, if you've been following my channel, you know I've been doing a lot of updates to my Ford Trauma. Absolutely lo love that truck. So this has been on my, on my radar for a long time. So I decided to pull that trigger. Guys, thank you for joining me. This channel is about how to DIY backyard stuff, front yard stuff, whatever I'm into, I'm sharing that information with you guys and hoping it help your guys, your decision making. Guys, consider like, subscribe to this channel. And guys, if you end up picking up these seat covers, there will be affiliate link below in the description. Please consider using that affiliate link because it does support the channel if you end up picking this up. So enough of me talking, let's take a closer look at it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna open it up take a real detailed look at it, and then I'm gonna go out to the truck and install it and show you guys how I'm doing it. All right, guys, again, thank you for joining me. I'm Ray, enough of me talking, let's get into the video. All right, guys, as you can see, it comes in a, it'll come in a big bowl box in this, and Pretty much this how it's gonna come. All right, and this is again, it tells you what it fits. And here it F-150, the crew cap, the model. And again, I have the 350 crew cap, 2000. So this should fit my vehicle perfectly. So uh, let's take a look at it. Oh, we're gonna open it up, see how it looks. All right. And here, this is, I guess, your directions. All right, so I'll give you a, a closer look at it. The front of it is how you install, well, the back of it, the front, whatever, the back seat covers, tells you how to install it. And the other side is the front seat covers to tell you how to install it. All right, so that's how, how that look. So, let's see what we got here. You have all your clips here. It comes in this bag here. Have the numerous clips. So you're gonna need that. And this is pretty much how it looks, guys. Stand by, guys. Let me get a, let me set up the overhead camera. All right, guys, I got the overhead camera set up here. And I just wanna give you guys a closer look at it. Again, this is fake leather. It's almost like a vinyl type of feel. Actually, it's not too much. Of, it's like a soft, I can't say leather, but it's not. It's not that bad, to tell you the truth. And right now, as you can see, the stitching have the diamond white stitching. I wish this this was more of a grayish color or maybe a dark color to give it a defined, but not that bad. And again, I have I end up getting a front and rear combination. So let me just give you guys a closer look here. Let's see, you guys can get a closer look at stitching on this. It doesn't feel cheap. I'm gonna tell you tell you the truth. It's not a cheap cover cover seat. You know, I think I paid over like two twenty nine or two thirty for this set. So it's not cheap, and I tell you, it doesn't feel cheap either. And as you can see, it's a uh, combination. So this is the front seat here. I could tell. I got one, first one and the second one, and I guess the bottom everything. All right. All right. Here's the cover, the head, and what I like about this one. Guys, as you can see, it's all one unit. I've seen other covers out here, it's like a flap, and this is it's exposed, and I wasn't thrilled with that. I like this one because it's one unit, it covers the whole thing. This is more of a nylon in the back, breathable, and this is the front end. So, some type of tag here. I don't know if this is Velcro or not. I don't know, this has some type of tag, but it's not really a Velcro, I, I don't think. I don't know, I gotta look at the directions, but that's how that's set up. So you should have two of them. Yeah. Oh, it is a Velcro. All right, it does, I, goes, I guess it goes in the sides so on this to hold it in. So you get two head covers, of course, for the front, both front seat. Okay. And I believe this is like, this is what? Maybe the back seat? I don't know. I don't know, or the front seat maybe? I don't know. We'll find out what this is. I don't, as we put it together, but again, this is just pretty much for you guys to get a closer look at it. I like this stitching on it. Okay. 
So that's the front seat. Put that to the side, and I believe this might be the back seat. Again, same thing, the back seat covers. Again, first impression, uh, I like it so far. Uh, it's not cheap, doesn't feel like it's cheaply made. It's all single stitch. I wish, I kind of wish the edges was double stitched, I guess. You know, but overall, it was, looks like it's, uh, it's well stitched in. Yeah. Again, guys, this is a, just a closer look at it. Little eye candy. I'll show you how it looks. So, we got the two seat and these are the back seats. So, cause we have a 60-40 split for... For the back seat so this is probably the 40 side and the same thing guys uh all nicely stitched and again some type of delco cover attachment what you guys see the stitching back and back of it all right so what i'm gonna do guys and let's get out to the truck and get this installed okay guys i'm outside to the truck now and what we're gonna do all right, we're going to start on the rear, and that's pretty much what they say here. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to, spot, we're going to start on the 40% side and get that started and work ourselves across. All right, so what you should do, just get your parts out. Let's get, your, get the bag open and separate all the stuff that we need. All right, the, on the top is going to be the front covers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the front now so I don't, I don't get it, accidentally get it scratched or damaged. So let me put this in the front. And what are we going to do? We're going to try to separate, find out which one is your 40 split. And by the look of it, this section here with the, this half here, I'm going to believe that's my probably, yeah, it's going to be my 40 split right here. So I'm going to take this one. This is the, the 60 split. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this inside. Again, I'm just spreading everything out, putting it where they're supposed to be. So I'm not searching for everything. So I'm gonna hook these. These are the headrests for the rear. And look like this is my 40 split rear bottom. So let me put that in the back. And this one here, or maybe this is the 40 foot. This may be the real one. Yeah, I think this is probably the real one. No, 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 this is not. Well, we'll figure this out. All right. Okay. And that's that. And guys, just to let you know, this case is not that durable. It's ripping already. So be careful with this if you plan on keeping it. It's very fragile. So just want to point that out to you. But again, I didn't buy it for this. I bought it for the seats cover. So let's go over to the truck and see how we get this installed. Okay guys, as you can see, I got, got my uh, covers all spread out to re their respectful place. All right, what we're gonna start on is the 40 split seat. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna figure this out as we go. So first thing I'm gonna do, let's grab the bottom half. Now with the bottom half, as you know, you can lift up the, get to the bottom so let's take this part here and this is going to go underneath so what i'm going to do push that over there and i'm going to lift up on this part and snake this in the back okay have that and this strap here should come all the way down here like this all right and this strap comes across here that's simple enough. All right, you still can reach your straps. And I'm just gonna tuck this all in. Guys, all I'm doing is just, just fitting it. Make sure it looks decent. You're gonna have to pretty much just tuck it underneath the, the latches for your seats. If you have a baby seat or something. A booster seat you're gonna have to leave that exposed so it's easy to get to all right that's a rear that's on um by looking at the yeah that's on all right so that's the bottom hope you can see that so now let's do the back now the back cover you're gonna need to remove the the headrest right here 
All right, cause there's no slit. So we're gonna have to take this off to get it on. So let me get that done. And by hitting the strap, I can come forward. Okay, headrest, just press the button, the headrest come right off. All right, so now what we're gonna do, just take your seat covers and just try to fit it in, all right? Now, the bottom here, you guys, has the strap and that's where these plastic chucks, they call them, are gonna go. And the chucks are simply just gonna slip over this. Like that, and like that, as such. All right, so gonna take two chucks. Again, let's put this one here like that. Whoops. So it looks something like this. And now that's half the go underneath between the seats. Okay, and as you see, when I came through the back, there's like a little slit here. I'm just slipping that in so it stays like that. All right. And now, I'm just gonna try to just fit this around. And all you're gonna do, guys, is just gonna line up the hose, something like that. All right? And what you're gonna do, you're gonna take a little Velcro and you're just gonna strap it like that. Again, just have to adjust it a little bit. Okay. All right, now let me just do the headset. Okay, that's it. Goes just like that, guys. Hope that makes sense to you. Only thing I don't like about it, you got to fix the hole here. I don't know why. I guess depending on the headset or the, or the year, but the 2020. That's done. So let me get the the 60 seat. First impressions, not very easy to put on. Very easy to put on. Matches the cab very nicely. Don't like the hole that's in the headset, but there's nothing you can do about it. So let me continue on the other side. Okay guys, uh, I'm over here gonna work on the, the 60 part of this. So what I do now, remove the headset. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna put the headsets on because it's the it's much easier just to get this done and out of the way. All right, this just goes right in and it locks on itself. You can see that very easy. All right, so this one doesn't have a hole, the other, the other two half does. So, bottom half first. Again, let's slip it up. So just fishing the straps through and strapping it down. Okay, well the, the accent for this strap, you have to unlock this. Oops, and let it come through here. Okay, it goes something like that. So that's what it's asking you to do. All right, that makes more sense. Like that. So it's gonna go like that. You're gonna do the same on this side. All right, I'll strap this. I'm gonna fish it through here. And strap it down like that. So that's how it works. All right, that makes more sense. How you doing? Saying hello to my neighbor over there. I'm just uh, trying to get this strapped in here. Okay, guys. Right there, like that. There you go. That's it. Okay. There you go. 
for this side here. Guys, we're just gonna go around and then we're gonna zip this part here in. Okay. It goes like that. Now, what I'm noticing, I kind of wish this was independent of itself. To tell you the truth, guys, because if you need to fold this part down, you're gonna have to unzip it, all right? Or, or bring all of it down at the same time. So I kind of wish they would have made this one unit and then had this come over and wrap over for this. But again, it's from 2017 to 2020. So I guess the older model car uh, vehicles, I guess it was easier to do it. But in this part, it's all one unit, this part here. That's the only thing I don't like. And again, I don't like the holes and probably take a picture of this and send it to them and ask them why I just did a hole in my headset and see if they send me another set that without a hole. So got that on. Let's uh now I have to pull this down. Actually, let me unzip this so I can pull this down so I can uh get the headset and the backing secured in. And what I'm looking to do. Uh, do the back. So pull this off. Pull this off. Again, you're gonna have to add these. That. Grab another one. I think grab another one. Yeah, I'll grab another one right there. Okay. And again, that goes underneath there. So let me just fold all these down. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm just trying to take, grab it. And what I'm doing, I'm just pulling it up, take up that slack and stick it in this little part here to help keep it in place like that. All right, and that's that. And now you just take your little Velcro and try to fit it, get it fitted on the seat. All right. Okay, and these do go around. If you don't want to take those things off, you don't have to. It does fit around it to get underneath it. So which is, I'm good because I didn't feel like taking it off. here okay now I just have to get my uh give me my lock means got locked into here all right let me show you a close up of the rear seats all right very easy to put in, I must say. All right, it's definitely real easy to put in. Not that difficult, all right? The, the most difficult part is getting this locked back in. As you know, sometimes this is kind of finicky, getting the side in. But other than that, again, I'm not a fan of the backing. All right, the backing, I wish it was designed independently of the 40C. So if I bring this one down, that one is not affected. You still can bring it down, but you have to unzip it. And I wish that wasn't the case. All right. And again, it's just for the 2020. It may not be an issue from other models. I'm not sure. But that's the only thing I don't like the back about the backing on this. The bottom half are independent. So you can pick it up. All right. And get to everything below it. So it is independent of each other. I just wish they were to carry that same thing on the back of it. But other than that, it's not that bad. All right, not that bad at all. That's it, guys. I'm gonna give you a little more close-up look at it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna 
cut this video down because I don't want to go too long. This is the rear seat. I'm going to do another part two installing the front seat. So stand, please check out that video. P please consider like, subscribe if it was helpful. And I'll just check you on the next one, guys. Later. Okay, guys, I just want to give you a closer look at the rear seats. All right, on how they look, how they fit. Not that bad. All right, I think it's pretty good. All right, again, you still can get to your straps. You just have to peel this off to get to your strap to unlock it so you can get underneath your seat. This is how it looks. Give you some detailed shots. Again, this is in a F350 Super Duty Tremor. All right, this is the rear. Let me see if I can give you guys a little closer. Again, not the fitting. Just gonna have to squeeze it down. Overall, it's pretty good. Again, with the 2020, the only thing I don't like about this is that when you wanna fold these seats down, like I said before, you have to unzip this zipper to bring the seat down independently. Or you're gonna have to fold the whole thing down together. So that's the only thing I don't like. I wish they would have made this independent, like they made the bottom half independent of each other. That's the only thing I don't like about this setup. And I wish they were to continue being independent, then they can continue with this all the way around, giving that look like that. I wish that would continue on, but it doesn't. It stops here. So, you know, that's the only thing I don't like about it. Is it a deal breaker? Nah, not really. All right, you get used to it. But the overall finish of it, it's not that bad. Able to get to your straps independently. Again, it's just protection for the seat covers. All right, didn't go with the leather package. So this is your next best thing. All right. And again, just don't like the hole here. I really don't know why there's a hole here. I don't know. It was returned. And they show that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to forward that picture to the manufacturer. Tell them I got a hole there. And if they can send me some replacement. Not unless that's the design. If that's the design... That's the only thing I really don't like. All right. Okay, here's the other side. The rear passenger side. Again, got the same hole over here. This is the look of it. All right, guys. So again, this is just eye candy for you guys who considering who may be in the same um, situation. You got the XLT and those are cloth seats that you may want to get some covers. That's how it looks.